In this video, we're going to talk about the DevExpress Spin Edit extension for ASP.NET MVC. The Spin Edit extension helps simplify the editing of numeric values for the user. To start, we're going to go to File, New, Project, and I'm going to choose the DevExpress MVC2 web application because it has all the assembly references and web config settings that I need to use the DevExpress MVC extensions. For the purposes of this demo, we're not going to create a unit test project. And Visual Studio is going to create the project for me and open up the Home Controller. I'm going to go down into Views, Home, Index, and replace the content here with some of my own. A quick Control KD to format the code. And since the spin edit is an HTML helper, we can call html.devexpress.spinedit and pass in some settings. In this case, I'll give it a name of spin edit one set the display format string to uppercase C, which is currency, and then set the value to 799.95, and you can see here it's a decimal. Finally, I call render on the control, so I'll hit Control F5, and Visual Studio will build the project and start the ASP.NET development server, and then open Internet Explorer. So you can see here we have the value of $799.95. And I can do a number of things. I can use the up arrow to increase the value. I can use the down arrow to decrease the value. And I can also use the keyboard to increment the major value. I can also constrain the value that's used. Switching back to the view, we'll add in some new code. In this case, I'm setting the min value to 1, the max value to 10, and null text from 1 to 10. I'll hit save and return to the browser. And hit F5 and you can see we have our null text here and I can increment from 1 to 10 and then back to 1 again. And it won't let me go outside that range. If I were to type in a large number that doesn't fit, it would resolve to the highest possible value or 10. Or using negative 99, it will give me 1. We can also control the minor value. Switching back to code view again, we'll replace some code here. And here I can tell it you use a number type of float, increment in 0 0.1 increments, a large increment of 1, and then show large increment buttons equal to true. And I'll pass in a default number of 1.2. I'll hit save and return to the browser. Control F5 to reload. And here you can see that I can use the large increment buttons to increment the major value, and I can use the small increment buttons to increment the minor value. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.